So as far as counseling is concerned, um, <clears throat> there's a few basic things that I want to go over. Now this is not even uh, a crash course on counseling, but I will mention a few things that are important. Um, if you are in a position where you have to do counseling for uh, someone you know, well, here are the things that you need to consider when you are talking to them. Number one, you need to consider their context and you need to make a, a map or an understanding of their context. So what do I mean by that? I mean, for example, uh, the context is basically has a lot to do with uh, expectations on the one side and what are the conflicts. So, and that is specific to that. And so, like for example, majority of the uh, reasons for divorce nowadays is because of money. So, you know, and then whatever the issue is, whatever the conflict is, it is connected to certain emotions. So let's say somebody feels, yeah, I don't have that much money, but we can do, I can do, you know, without. I can live my life uh, without certain luxuries, and that's okay with me. Another person may feel, uh, I need at least basic expenses. I need to have certain things in life. You know, we don't have to be this way. We don't have to live like this. So money is usually... So whatever the conflict is, it is connected to an emotion. And it is that conflict and that expectation that is specific to that particular couple. So that's the first thing you want to understand is... Uh, is you want to understand the context. Okay? And that has to do with your conflict. So what is the conflict exactly? And expectations. And this has to do with certain emotions. So you, this is where you will shift, you will help the uh, husband understand the wife's perspective and help the wife understand the husband's perspective and that they both acknowledge that this is their individual perspectives on how things should be and why there is conflicts. Now, so that's the, the first thing that you want to do, okay? And uh, the second thing that you want to uh, also establish uh, when you are doing this is you're want, going to want to establish how they are going to communicate with each other in the conversation with you and also outside that conversation with, with outside that conversation which is that you're going to uh, so basically it's a process of uh, acknowledgement and reflection so wife says uh, you haven't looked hard enough for a job the husband says back to his wife you feel i have not try hard enough to look for a job and I acknowledge that. So whatever the, 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 con the communication is such that everyone is being assured that they are understanding what the other person's perspective is, then the husband can say, I know you feel that way, but I feel that, you know, I'm not gonna just look for any job. I'm going, to, I'm going to get a job that's going to put me on my feet and my family and the, uh, we're going to put ourselves in our, uh, together and I'm looking for that, you know, I don't want to just take any job, I want to get the right job. And the wife then repeats, okay, I understand you want to not get any job, you want to get the right job, but, and the conversation continues in this way. The third thing is, we want to definitely uh, change not only, not only help them understand, because this is partly it's context, and then number two, it is partly communication. Okay? And the third thing you want to definitely, uh, because there is emotions involved, right? So it leads to bad behavior, like anger. Okay, and so you want to uh, manage or you want to definitely discuss the outbursts 
the behavior, the bad behavior, the negative behavior. I'm just going to write in V for now. And number four is you want to uh, then also go into, again, this has to do with uh, the bad behavior, the emotions, and then I'll put it here. You want to deal with, you, it, we have a specific word for it, but I'm just going to call it fear for now. What are your fears? Why, why are you acting this way? What are your fears? Why are you acting like this? Um, you know, are you, most people, for example, they get angry, get angry because they feel things are out of control. Uh, so you want to modify dysfunctional behavior. That's the negative behavior. Um, and then you also want to, um, deal with what we call emotional avoidance. What is it that you're not saying that's really... Because, you know, people say, oh, this is my problem. But you can think of, like, an onion, right? You're peeling the onion and peeling the onion and peeling the onion. So this is what you're saying on the surface. Now, you may know that that's not the real reason. The person who's saying it may know that's not the real reason, but others don't. But you still want to try to peel under that. Okay, what's the real reason? And what's the real reason? So how will you get there? One way you're going to look at the bad behavior... You're going to try to see what are the emotions connected to it, particularly fears, right? Uh, what were the goals? What were the expectations? And that's going to help you. What was their history before? Was the person married before? How were those relationships? Even growing up, all that, uh, your environment, all of that will help you peel the layer to really what's the bottom line issue here. And it is to help them to talk about not, do you want to go from what is the conflict and expectations to what is the behavior to what is the emotions involved and then you want to dig deep uh, using the person's history okay uh, then number five because a lot of this is uh, focusing on all the negative aspects you always want to end on something positive you always want to ask the husband, okay, tell me three things or four things or five things that you love about your wife and vice versa. Or if you don't love, uh, you know, what are five things you appreciate? Uh, you know, and, and remember that when you're doing counseling, the first thing, you are, your goal in all of this, the first thing is because something happens usually here where because of expectations, expectations are not met, and therefore what gets eroded is trust. So the trust is the building block of a relationship. Okay? And so when you're dealing with expectations and, and the issues of conflict, particularly those issues of conflict, that are the same issues of conflict occurring over and over and over again. Those are the ones that really bring down the marriage. Um, okay. And then, uh, I also want to, uh, you know, particularly for the Muslims, I want those people that will be counseling to take the verses of the khutbah of the Prophet for the nikah and go over those verses the way I will show you in a second with Giving them the general, this is the context, okay? And the most repeated term, by the way, in the khutbah to nikah, the Prophet used to read three verses. And the most repeated term in all of those three verses is ittaqullah. Ittaqullah, ittaqullah. Fear Allah, but what it really means is to fear the consequences Allah will bring about. Because what comes around goes around. So if you treat someone bad, it's going to come around, whether in this life or the next life. And so... One of them is, Ya Yuhannas, O mankind, ittaqu rabbakum. Fear your Lord. Meaning, Allah will take action for your wrong actions. And you want to go through that ayah, O mankind, fear your Lord. That Allah will take action. Who created you from a single being, and of that same being created it, the mate. And from that pair created countless men and women around the world. Fear Allah, again, in whose name you demand your, your rights from one another. You're demanding rights from one another. That's the conflict. 
So be aware, whatever you're asking, Allah is watching. And then Allah Himself knows it well, then Allah is watching you very closely. This is Surah Al-Nisa. Then Surah Al-Ali Imran, Ya ayyuhal ladhina amanu attaqu Allah haqqa tuqadim wa la tamutunna illa wa antum muslimun. O you people who believe, fear Allah as He should be feared, and do not die except you have surrendered to Allah. Then, Ya ayyuhal ladhina amanu attaqu Allah wa qulu qawlan sadida. O you people who believe, fear Allah, meaning Allah will take action here, wrong action, and say what is right. Okay, that has to do with communication. That has to do with don't try to hide things. Look deep into yourself and say what's right. Allah will make your conduct right. And Allah will make your conduct right. And He will forgive your sins. And whoever obeys Allah and His Messenger is truly successful. So I would always go over this. Uh, before uh, I would even start any of this, I would start with, okay, let's understand specifically what is your conflict, what are your everyday conflicts, let's boil down to that, and begin to understand how all of that leads to bad behavior, and how all of this is breaking trust, and try to see what emotions are involved, specifically focus on fears, ask the wife, what are your fears, what are really your fears, not just for winning an argument, uh, you have to sometimes maybe sit with them separately and sometimes together. You have to make your best judgment. How they communicate, husband and wife, how they communicate, what is the negative behavior, and negative behavior needs to be stopped right away. Uh, emotional, emotionally, what they're trying to uh, uh, avoid from doing. Uh, and number five, end with a positive note for both of the couples, okay, before you come back next week, let's have a positive plan. Can you two start communicating a little bit better? Can we get rid of the bad behavior? Can we start moving in a direction where we're beginning to reduce the conflict so that this trust, which is the building block of a good relationship, is beginning to be built? Over here, I also want to end with, you know, when Musa والسلام, was in the land of Shu'aib in Madian, and the, his daughters were there, you know how his daughters described Musa والسلام, to his uh, to their uh, father Innahu Awiyun Amin. He is strong and he is trustworthy. Trustworthy. These are the two traits men should know that women look for. That he is strong, capable, dependable, and he is trustworthy. These are the two most important things uh, from a man's side in a relationship and uh, you know I have uh, a lot more to say but and I have uh, other lectures on these issues but uh, this one was about how what is a base one of the very this is a pretty good model of doing counseling uh, and you just need more practice on it and again I do want to say that before you counsel anyone you need to consider why you and why not someone else uh, why not go to another professional? Why not go to another Muslim professional? Um, these are some things you might, you may want to start something and then see where it goes. There might be financial issues, but I'm saying only that, um, you know, sometimes we do something with good intentions, but ends up bad. Uh, are you going to be able to control the conflict that's going on between the husband and the wife? Are you going to be able to uh, keep uh, your objectivity in having a discussion with both of them um, are you going to be able to bring this from okay let's see what your conflicts are and be able to discuss the bad behavior dig deep into the emotions talk about the level the communication and end it positively um, you know these are some things to consider uh, before you actually embark on this and of course as Muslims we pray to Allah that Allah helps out anyone who is in trouble and, 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 and one can do this purely for the sake of the good deed of it as long as they think that they are actually capable of it. Jazakumullah khair and